Hi, Ange. Morning. Hey. Good to see Morning. you again. Uh, if you could please start us through uh, with uh, the team news. Anything has changed after last night? Uh, oh, look, it's short turnaround. Um, hard to say. Obviously, um, yeah, I feel the lads still feeling the effects of the game. Um, I'll have a better picture probably this afternoon. Uh, I don't think, uh, knock on wood, there's anything significant come out of it, but we'll, we'll get a better idea this afternoon. If you compare um, this season to last season, Spurs managed to really raise the bar. There's no question about it. Um, what do you think happened last night? It felt like a very not, not typical Spurs performance. Yeah, we weren't great. I think I said that after the game. Um, you know, for nowhere near the, the levels of uh, sort of energy we usually show in the games, particularly with the defensive side of our game. Our pressing has been pretty consistent all year. You know, football's fluctuated, but yeah, I felt especially in the first half. Uh, <coughs> we didn't show the same energy and uh, um, intent in our defensive work, but um, as I said after the game, that's my responsibility. I've got to have a look at how I'm preparing a team and you know um, the teams are putting out there. A derby defeat is always difficult. Experiencing two of those in four days' time must be even more challenging for the players. What do you sense from them in terms of their confidence levels and also how hurt they are and want to react on Sunday? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm sure they're hurt, but you know, it's 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 also part of the process, you know. But, um, it's not going to change. It's not going to, you know, you're not going to have less derbies next year or, you know, they, the big games will always be big games and, um, you know, you need to, like I said, feel the pain but understand that that sort of uh, intensity will always be there uh, when you're representing this football club. Most likely that on Sunday will be your last time facing Joey Klopp in the Premier League. Um, if you look at his nearly nine years at Liverpool, what impressed you the most? Not only the achievements, but what he's, what he's done as a whole in the club. Yeah, look, he's he's had a, a massive impact. Um, you know, I've you know I've said before that um, I've always kind of been um, drawn to, to managers who who are a little bit different, who, who play the game a bit differently, or you know have a real clear identity and clear vision. He certainly, Jurgen certainly has that. I mean, it's not easy going into a big club that. <laughs> Traditionally, has had a lot of success and 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 gone through a real you know tough spell in terms of that and come in and and you know transform the club the way he did. Um, it's a credit to him. He's an outstanding manager. I'm sure we'll see him back and you know um, managing at the top level again because uh, he's one of the, you know, the top managers in the world. And um, like I said, the credit to him that it's such a big club. He was able to you know imprint his own style, vision, and uh, and bring success. Charlie. Um, yesterday you talked about some of the players that felt like they've lost a lot of belief and conviction. I think it was what you said after. Just wondered if you've like now got more time to ruminate on that thought about why that might be the case. Uh, there's a number of reasons. Um, and they're all maybe individual, um, so it's not a kind of blanket, uh, but it's not surprising either because um, you know, it's it's part of the nature of change. You know, change is is difficult. It's uh, relentless. It's uh, uncompromising. It's challenging. It uh, you know, it, it doesn't leave you a lot of leeway for um, you know to feel comfortable. So it's it's part of that process. And uh, you know, like I said my job is to to navigate through that. Because I think at the start of the season. A lot of people expected there might be a slow start, and then you know we kind of see things picking up. It's obviously been the other way round. Has that been a surprise to you, and is that a concern to you? Uh, no, no, no. Well, well, you know, I uh, every job I've taken has had tough bits. Sometimes at the start, sometimes in the middle, sometimes at the end. Um, but no, nothing surprised me, and um, and it's a necessary part of it, you know. It's, uh, it's how you grow. You know, you don't grow uh, through just thinking everything's going to run smoothly. So um, <clears throat> you need to go through these times and, uh, and uh, you know, find out more about yourself. Obviously, you'll have learned a lot about a lot of the players, you know, not just in the good times, but especially in these bad times. Has that changed your view of kind of what's, what's needed in the summer? I know you said that targets were decided a long time ago, but has that no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, I, I'd be very surprised if you s have heard me in this room from day one saying that we are still not a long way off. I think I've been pretty consistent. And if somebody can show me where I haven't said that, even when we were going well at the start, 
I still think we're a long way off. Um, that being said, you always want to maintain a competitiveness through that building process because at a big club, I don't think you can afford to, to drop off the pace too much um, because then it doesn't allow you the, the possibility of uh, continued growth. So I've always balanced that off, but I think I've been very, very consistent in saying we've still got a long way to go. And just on, you were saying there about, you know, it's what you're trying to do, players have to, it's uncomfortable for them constantly. Do you think some players have kind of shirked that or that they don't, the last few games suggest that they're not willing to put themselves out of their comfort zone again and again? No, I don't think so. I don't think anyone's shirked it. I don't think it's through a lack of effort or desire, but it's, it's like I said, if you, if you haven't been put in that situation before, it is confronting, it is challenging, and it's how you navigate your way through that. And like I said, it's sometimes on an individual basis. My kind of role in that is to is always the collective about the environment, how we can create an environment where, you know, they they feel like they can embrace that challenge. But, you know, I, I don't think it's I, I don't think it's for a want of trying. I, I really don't. Um, I, I don't think through it's through a, <coughs> a lack of effort in any way because I, I you know, for me I always go on to measure that with you know, the way we're training and the way, you know, and the way we're sort of playing in games. Um, like I said, last night was disappointing from a, you know, defensive pressing aspect because that's been pretty consistent all year. So that was the one area where I was really disappointed with. But in general, the lads are still trying to play and uh, still trying to sort of embed our principles. I'll finish the section with George, please. Hi, Ange. Um, I mean, you've had sort of highs and lows over the last couple of months. How much of a concern is it the doesn't feel like you sort of know what Tottenham's going to turn up, the one that won at Villa or sort of the one that lost kind of last night in, in that kind of manner? It's, it's, it's not a concern. It's part of the process. Uh, as I said, it's, uh, it's where we're at. Um, you, you, know, you need to understand that um, when, you, when there is change, as I said, um, it's not easy. It's not smooth. It's not supposed to be. It's, if you're really going to build for success, you need to go through tough times, you know, you don't go out trying to manufacture them. You don't create the tough times on purpose, but you have to go through them. And I, you know, if somebody can show me a, a team that hasn't been through a tough spell when they're building something, I'll be very surprised because it's a necessary part of the process. You know, you need to go through that. You need to understand how you're going to deal with that. Who deals with it well? Who you know? Uh, who doesn't deal with it well? Um, from a football perspective, from a club perspective, from a staff perspective, all those kind of things reveal themselves, and that's part of the process. And you, you've said quite a few times that next season you, you want the team to be in that position to challenge Arsenal, challenge C. I mean, how far off do you feel like you are of, of that right now? I just finished saying we're a long way off, but that doesn't mean we can't challenge next year. Like, it doesn't... Uh, um, I, I don't know which other way to put it. I, I think in terms of the team I want us to be, we're, we're a fair way off. But I'm not dismissing the fact that we have to be competitive and have to challenge for... for for, for success every year I'm here I don't I'm not going to throw away or not throw away but I'm not going to dismiss any year it's just a building year every year is a building year to get to where we want to but it's also an opportunity for us to have success as it was this year we've fallen short of that and a different sort of subject um, Sonny's played a lot of games this season I mean the team hasn't had a long season in terms of games but Sonny's played a lot of international games are you kind of looking at him with any temptation to, to rest him over these next week or so? Because it feels like he's running empty a little bit. Yeah, look, it's it's been a yeah, look, it's been a another well, it's been a big challenge for Sonny this year on a lot of fronts, not just the game, the leadership. So it's only nat natural that you know there'd be at some point where again he's he's got to embrace this challenge. You know, it, it's not going to change. It, there, there isn't a point. If you want to be successful, where the relentlessness of that changes, so you need to embrace that. You need to understand that. Um, and knowing Sonny, he will he will do just that. He will find a way to work his way through it. Mm -hmm.